Today, I'm going to tell you about my trip to Africa. It would be a quite a long way if I took anything besides planes, since I do live in Pennsylvania. So, of course, I took a plane. I then went to Cape Town. Well, there's where I landed. In South Africa. I visited the Castle of Good Hope in which it is a beautiful piece of architecture and is quite legendary if you ask me. I then traveled to Camps Bay, which is a beautiful place. I then traveled to Table Mountain, another beautiful place that is also in Cape Town. I then went to the Kalahari Desert, where I visited the, I can't pronounce, Kalagadi Transportier Park. Learn about desert life, in which, did you know that plants don't need very much water and can last with for years? I then went to the Chobe National Park, which is also very legendary. I found different animals, such as the baboon the hippopotamus the crocodile the open bill stork zebras gazelle and much, much more is located in the Chobe National Park. It is such a beautiful place, and I would definitely visit there again. Next, I went to Victoria Falls, where I swam around in the water all day. It was such a beautiful, exciting adventure that I would definitely do many, many times over, and I strongly recommend. Well, there, I also did a lion encounter and an elephant walk, which was definitely very, very exciting. Next, I went to the Zambezi River, which is one of the coolest things I've seen in my entire life. Just look how long, long it is and look how far it goes through, and it's such a beautiful sight to see. Next, I went to the Cabell Forest National Park. I saw a brilliant rainforest, and it's truly amazing. Did you know that they have 325 sighted species of birds, just solely birds, in the rainforest? Uh, amazing, I know, right? So cool. Did you know that the park was founded in 1993, over 20 years ago? That's a long time. I then went to Nairobi in Kenya, Kenya, and I discovered many, many things. Two things that contrast in Nairobi, and that is poverty and wealth. Although poverty and wealth are two different things, they seem to be fairly balanced, as well it's half and half, and there's usually nothing in the middle, as everyone is either wealthy or someone, everyone is broke. I then went to Mogadishu in Somalia, even though I was warned not to. There is a lot of dangerous things that can happen here, but there are some cool things that are still good to see at this dangerous, dangerous place where many bad things have unfortunately took place. There are also many good things like the Bakara Market, which is really cool. 
There is also the legendary Tomb of the Unknown Soldier in Somalia. Then went to Timbuktu, where I saw the legendary castle Tajinjarabur Mosque, and it was beautiful. Did you know that this beautiful castle was built in the middle of Mali in the year 1327? Although the trip was long and it definitely exhausting at some times, it was definitely one of the most exciting things I've ever done in my entire life, and I would do it again, and I recommend to anyone out there they should do it too.